generally relative beat across the board and it is cloud that's powering the way, Bob. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, the Azure business continues to grow for them, uh, nearly doubled. Uh, and, you know, there's no sign of that slowing down. There's a huge opportunity out there, um, as we discussed briefly before, Amazon, Google, and Microsoft all driving this business. A lot of interest there. And we're seeing each of these vendors, and Microsoft in particular, trying to focus on adding some interesting artificial intelligence, uh, speech recognition capabilities, so that other developers can take advantage of this on uh, if they're going to use Microsoft's cloud services. So we're going to see a lot more exciting developments in that area. The Office 365 business is very interesting as well because they've successfully moved from this model where we all used to pay you know, for a copy of Office mm -hmm. to now where we pay a subscription. And in the long run, that obviously has some nice financial benefits. So we're starting to see some of the opportunities that they're driving from that as well. And interestingly enough, even the Windows business uh, did okay. Uh, that old chestnut. Yeah, that old chestnut still uh, actually had some opportunity. And then, of course, they're heavily involved with gaming. Uh, that's a hot area as well. So they're, they're nicely positioned, I think, as we move forward. Something that the CEO has put into play. But what about the acquisition, LinkedIn, Corey? Did we get any hints as to how that's going to start being adding to LinkedIn? LinkedIn. <laughs> how we linked it with the results. <laughs> they, they, uh, they're, they're very much separate businesses now. The mm. question is how long is that going to be the case? Microsoft more than almost any other company that has survived, has screwed up merger after merger after merger after merger going back decades. So can this one be any different? They, of course, they certainly hope so. Their plan is to keep this as a very separately operated company. So the results, of course, in the first quarter that it's consolidated is yeah. going to be separate. But the question is how much linked is it going to be in the future uh, upon fully intended? Well, you know, the one thing I would, just to jump in briefly, is that with Office 365, there is a very interesting mix between some of the LinkedIn capabilities with Office. As you tie contact information from Outlook and other things into LinkedIn, that seems like a reasonable mix. So we'll see what happens. But. More sales potential there. Yeah.